Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, I was setting and cleaning up my garden and accidentally I happened to drop my succulent pot. Now guys, rather than crying over spilled milk, I thought let's make something really productive out of it. So I thought I will show you a video on repotting of succulents. Now guys, ideally I do not repot my succulents quite often. I usually do it uh, probably once in two years or probably once in a year. But as we already have a succulent that is broken and I have to repot it any which way so I thought I'm going to quickly show you. So the pot size in which this succulent was sitting was around 2 to 2.5 inch in depth so definitely the pot was not very deep but still you can see now initially I had around 5 succulents in this small little pot but as it was getting overcrowded I took off 2 of the succulents and I left with only 3 of them in this pot. Now guys the pot size was really small even then you will be able to notice something even after having three succulents in this small pot the pot was still not root bound so this gives you an idea that basically succulents do not get root bound that easily now this succulents were sitting in this pot for almost a year and a half but still you will be able to notice that the pot was not root bound but yes the soil has got compact because it was not watered but you'll also notice that the type of soil that i have used now because this was my earlier uh, potting mix the sand was little fine so it has got little compact but again it was not doing any harm to the succulents my succulents were still growing quite healthy you will be able to see with just uh, touching the soil the soil tends to break apart now right now the soil is completely dry but still you can see how it just falls apart when i tend to touch the soil so this is the type of soil you need to have basically this was my old soil i then uh, you know improved onto my soil i put in a little bit larger granules of sand and that was even more porous and loose but even this soil was quite effective you can see my succulent health the succulents were doing quite well so as you can see with the slightest squeeze the soil tends to fall apart now definitely there are a lot of dry leaves which i'm going to clear it off with this you'll get an idea that this spot was ignored for a really long time but even then the succulents are doing quite well so whenever you're doing any kind of repotting ensure that you do a root Routine check get rid of all those dry leaves and make them feel fresh now another important thing as you can see the roots uh, there is a slight amount of uh, fungus white mold that is growing on it that's absolutely fine it usually happens we will treat that as well another important thing to notice is the size of roots now as i said that this uh, pot was around one and a half year old the succulents were sitting in this small pot the pot size was 2 to 2.5 inch in depth but even then even after them being sitting in this uh, pot for over a year and a half and that too there were three succulents sitting in this pot still the pot was not root bound you can see uh, the texture of the roots if i have to give you the description of succulent roots they are not very thick they're usually like a uh, thread they're basically like fine thread so they do not uh, need a lot of space but still the roots are quite healthy they have this light fungus which we will take care and now talking about the soil as well uh, you can see my soil it is a uh, very very loose it's very porous now this was my old soil i had used a lot of fine sand so that is why you can see it is slightly compact but you overall as you can see the soil tends to easily break even when it is completely dry so this is the type of soil you need to have for your succulents so as i said whenever you're doing a reporting always do a routine check this is the best time you can clean your succulents now the best part is i'm so happy that i did not see that there were any mealybugs in the leaves or in the roots uh, just a slight amount of mold that was growing the white mold which can be easily taken care so overall just check everything that there are no mealybugs try to get rid of all those dry leaves now when the pot happened to fall uh, i lost a couple of leaves as well as there was a crack on this particular Leaf, but it's absolutely fine uh, accidents do happen another tip what i can give you is uh, whenever you're doing a repotting and you're taking out your succulent from the older pot try to loosen the roots uh, try to loosen the root ball as much as you can because a lot of time the soil tends to get very compact near the root ball because that's where a lot of the activity happens basically absorbing of moisture from the soil so that particular area tends to get little compact so you'll have to loosen everything now the next step is completely optional because my succulent roots had this white mold that was growing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep them in indirect bright light and let them sit there overnight so that the roots can
can breathe some fresh air and also i will sprinkle some cinnamon powder on the roots so that the white mold can be taken care but if you do not have any issues with the roots you can immediately put them in the new soil and repot them so after i let my succulent sit in indirect bright light overnight i had sprinkled some cinnamon powder so now it's time for the new journey so when the new chapter begins we use new pots basically i do that so i'm going to be using new pots for them as well as i'm going to be using new soil now guys the older soil please do not discard the old soil you can treat it now because i had some mold growing in that so what i'm going to do is i'll put that soil out in afternoon direct sunlight wherein the soil can get Get baked properly now what you can also do is you can add some cinnamon powder or you can just mist it with white vinegar and let the soil get treated probably you can keep it out in afternoon direct sunlight for two to three days and then the soil is good to be used again and always remember the pots that you're using for your succulents should have a drain hole then you can cover it with a small pebble so that uh, whenever you're watering the soil does not flow out of the pot so guys we are done with our uh, soil we have filled our pots with soil now it's time to put the succulents in uh, just check the roots once again if everything is fine there might be some mold but it's absolutely fine so what i tend to do is i'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon powder on the soil this is just for precaution again it's optional if you want to do it you can do it or you can just skip it but i usually prefer to sprinkle some cinnamon powder on the top of the soil especially when i have noticed that uh, the succulent roots already had some mold growing so it's always as a method of precaution i tend to sprinkle some cinnamon powder on the soil and again when i'm making a cavity in order to put the root ball into the soil uh, when i'm making the cavity i'm again going to sprinkle some more cinnamon powder but guys again this is optional if you do not want to do it you can skip it's absolutely fine i just like to be a little bit more careful especially when i have already seen that there is some mold growing so i always take a little extra precaution whenever i'm doing a reporting for such succulents so now all you have to do is very gently just uh, tuck your succulent in just fill the cavity with soil and very gently firmly press your succulents into the soil so we will continue the same method for all the other succulents as well the same thing sprinkle some cinnamon powder on the soil when you make a cavity again sprinkle some more cinnamon powder in the cavity and then just firmly press the succulent into the soil now guys if you're handling a succulent with farina then please do not touch the succulent leaves you have to do it very carefully now in case if you happen to see that there is any soil dust that tends to settle on the leaves use the succulent blower and just blow off all the dust and that's it guys that's pretty much it all you have to do is just let them relax in the new soil now basically they have just been repotted so the same rule applies we are not going to water it immediately we are going to be waiting for at least four or five days four or five days because the succulents are still very hydrated they do not have any wrinkles if they were dehydrated we could have watered it after two or three days but as of now we are going to let them sit in indirect bright light so i hope that this video on repotting was helpful to you now guys again this was not a planned repotting this is something that happens out of the blue but i wanted to make good use of it and i hope that this was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating